Hi guys, I thought I'd make a quick video of my knife collection. Uh, it's not a huge collection, but it's getting somewhere. Uh, first of all, I have Victorinox Forester. This is a locking version of a Victorinox knife. It has wood saw, main blade, toothpick, tweezers, corkscrew, reamer screwdrivers, can opener. Next is the CRK TM16. This is the 12Z, the Zytel handled model with the liner lock. Not a bad knife, it's quite cheap. This is my new Spyderco Tenacious. First Spyderco I've got, got this last week. Liner lock, G10 handles. Nice. Also, another new knife I got is this. Everyone knows this. This is the uh, Ontario Rat One. Also a liner lock. Next, one of my favourites. This is the Sog Aegis. Assisted opening. Arc lock on the side. Very light. Excellent clip. Hangs very low in your pocket. Super fast opening. It's lightning fast. I've had this knife for about six months. Carried it and used it quite a bit and I've oiled it once, used a tough cloth on it to keep the blade nice and it's just so quick. Super knife. That's the soggy Aegis. Next, cheap little knife, uh, CRKT Cascade. Quite a large hunting style lockback knife with a real tree camo finish on it. Quite a quite a nice cheap little knife. It's actually quite fast to open and close using the back lock mechanism on it there. Next, Leatherman Wave multi-tool absolutely fantastic multi-tool this is the the mark one this is the original version that came out um, it has locking main blade saw screwdrivers all the usual functions compare it with the, the newer mark two leatherman wave which is slightly broader and heavier uh, probably same quality, maybe a little better. It's a little stronger as you can see the uh, pliers on it. Roughly about the same size. Another one of my favourites is the Victorinox Soldier. This is the one they're, they're going to put out of production pretty soon. There's a new version out to replace this. This is a non-locking folder with a two and a half inch blade so this is legal carry in the UK and Ireland I think in Ireland anyway, in Northern Ireland anyway. um, it also has your standard uh, screwdriver, bottle opener can opener, another small screwdriver and a little reamer on the back as I said it's non-locking, lovely scales on this silver next I do like Victorinox knives. This is a Victorinox, uh, this is a Spartan Silver Tech. It's also a non locking 2.5 inch blade on it. I use this quite a bit. I uh, would carry this in my bag. You do see this a fair bit. Pretty similar to the Soldier, screwdriver, ball opener, um, screwdriver can opener, corkscrew, little reamer on the back as well. Super lovely in the silver tech colour. Really nice. On to my fixed blades. We have the uh, K-Bar Becker Necker. This is a little neck knife. This is a great little lightweight knife. Absolutely beautiful. Great for survival kit or if you're going out camping and you just need one little lightweight knife to do some camping tasks. Gutting fish. 
even batoning through some small pieces of wood, maybe an inch or two thick. It comes with uh, some black paracord, you can make a little neck neck loop and hang it around your neck and you can wrap some around the handle as well to make the handle a little more comfortable. So you can really grip up on this knife. Super little knife. That's the K-Bar Becker Necker. Next, the infamous Fall Niven F1. Well, if you're into your knives, you know about this knife. This is a great knife. It's small, compact, really thick, chunky blade. It's about 5mm. Super sharp. Comes in the, the laminate VG10. Not sure if you can see the line there on the with the metals really really nicely blended into one another there's three steels three layers of steel sorry the VG10 and then you have the stainless outer steels on it it has a full tang coming through the blade really strong super quite light nice night knife for hunting camping and a nice quality leather sheath but look now the big guy this is the Cold Steel Recon Scout. Whoa, this is a beast. I think it's about six or seven mil thick blade. Cold Steel make really strong knives. This is a super survival knife. Heavy, but perfect for chopping. It's got a nice sharp blade, which recently just sharpened up on it. And it's got a full tang. It doesn't come out through the back, but you can feel it's down through there. So, superb. Just to give you a little bit of uh, scale here, I'll show you the, the Recon Scout beside the Fall Niven F1. Recon Scout beside the Spider Co Tenacious. So, that's a. Uh, that's the Kydex sheath comes with it. Locks in very securely. It ain't gonna come out of there very easy. Just use your thumb to pull it out. So great knife. Very happy with this knife. And you can unbutton the back. This is a Velcro lock too to uh, attach to your belt without having to remove your belt. Velcro on, button it securely. Super survival knife. Highly recommend it. It's not that expensive too. So, that's my knife collection. Hope you've enjoyed it. Well, one final thing. Probably the most important thing if you use your knives. <coughs> Full Niven DC4 sharpening stone with coarse edge and a fine ceramic edge for finishing off or just touching up the knives. Really easy to use. Really lightweight. It's really a must have. You know, it's it fits in the palm of your hand. You can just throw it in your bag if you're going camping, and you can always guarantee to keep a good edge in your knives. So, thanks for watching. Leave some comments, feedback, rate the video if you want, and hopefully more to come to my collection quite soon. Bye bye.